Are you feeling a little like lethargic or not creative or you're feeling like your world just generally lacks structure? Are you feeling like maybe, I don't know, you're kind of like wandering and you've got this like wanderlust, right? And you're just not sure why that is. Well, maybe your sacral shocker is a little out of whack. So we're going to talk about that today. Today's day 17 in the Manifesting Your Best Life in 88 Days um, series. And today we're going to be, as we're talking about how to get aligned, right? Our chakra alignments, our energetic flow going correctly and fluidly so that we can truly manifest our best life and that of our highest good. We're going to talk about the sacral chakra today. Now the sacral chakra, as I'm sure a lot of you know, is literally like it is the pleasure center, right? But not just physical pleasure, but also emotional pleasure, joy and happiness and peace and, you know, wow, you know, all those great things, kind of like this kind of childlike play, if you will. And the, a, a, a physical seed, I feel like of our imagination. Now, if you have kind of an overactive or you kind of overly into in your sacral, or it's, it's on that heightened, right? Physically, you're going to have potentially some urinary tract infections, kidney problems, low back and hip pain. Emotionally, you're just kind of all over the place. Um, very like excessive remo- emotional responses. You can have a tendency towards codependence and dependence on others. Your mood swings can be going nuts. Um, And then also like behaviorally, you kind of move from one thing to the next. Um, You're not really able to be kind of grounded and structured. Uh, uh, you're, you're kind of obsessive with some of the attachments. It can be promiscuity or other pleasurable addictions. If you're deficient or if it's underactive, then you're physically, it's going to be rigid and and stiff. You're going to lack mobility. Could be fertility issues, could be impotence issues, um, female cycle issues, that kind of thing. Um, Emotionally, you shut down. You're kind of numb. You don't really want to feel anything. You have a deep fear of change, a lack of desire, passion, um, and you could have a fear of being intimate with your partner. Also, it behaviorally, right? You're like, ah, you know, again, very, very rigid. You got to have a strict schedule. Your social skills might not be the best. Um, you put up a lot of walls. We have excessive boundaries. Some boundaries are good, but excessive boundaries are, and you're having a, a bit of a lack of desire and passion or excitement all around in your general life. Okay. So I went over a whole lot of things. So remember a couple of days ago, I had you write down, you know, what was going on in your being. So if it's any of those, and if you got to stop and rewind and go back to that list, feel free to go back to that list, comment below. Let me know. Did any of that hit already? Like you're like, Oh yeah, I got some things going on there. Let me know if we're on the right track here. Okay. And don't forget, you might want to Give me a follow, a subscribe, a like, a share. Do the things on the platform that you're seeing this on that we need to do so that the word gets out and more and more of us can be living our best life. Now, I never tell you what's happening. I never present the issue without giving you some solutions. So here are some techniques, right, that we can learn and we can use um, as we are healing that sacral chakra. Now, if you are into yoga, the cat pose or the cow pose can help. The warrior two pose can help. A bound angle, pigeon pose, goddess pose, all of those can help you like get that sacral chakra in alignment, get things unblocked, get it regulated so it's not overly active and it's not underactive. Um, Again, breath work, different forms of breath work. I don't go into that too much here. We probably... Comment below if you want me to like get a breath work specialist onto the platform and we can definitely interview her and have her or him give us some great tips and tricks. So leave me that comment below as well. And then affirmations, okay? I am creative. I am safe to express myself in my body. I'm comfortable in my body. I'm in touch with my feelings. It is my right to be joyful and find pleasure. Um, 
all of those things that that begins like this in an orange color, you know, like red is for your root chakra. Orange is going to be great for helping that sacral chakra to kind of come online all, more affirmations. And I'm looking at some notes guys. So um, I attract like-minded people who will celebrate and support me. I hold the power to manifest my dream life. I allow myself to be a free flow of joy, creativity, expression. All of those types of affirmations are going to give strength and rise to that sacral chakra. Um, as you're working on the visualization and the meditation, right? If you want to visualize that chakra, that's going to be again in an orange hue, um, red, orange, orange E. Um, what you'll want to do though is is listen and all over YouTube, all over Insta, all over iTunes and shop and Shopify, not Shopify, Spotify, all over, you're going to find wonderful meditation, music, and guided meditations for sacral chakras, okay? So let's be sure that that's what we're doing and we're utilizing those meditation, um, those guided meditations or that meditation music as you're meditating on your own. Also sleep meditations for any of the chakras, anytime you need to have some alignment in your life. Listen, I am all about a good sleep meditation music while, you know, I put it on my television actually. Um, and I just find a black screen, put it on the TV, let her run for eight, nine, 10 hours, right? It's amazing. So you have to worry about sleeping with headphones on. Um, and then as far as energy healing, um, I didn't last time, but I'm going to give you some some uh, crystals that we can use too. So to keep keeping amber or citrine around, those are two great um, stones, orange car, um, carnelian for your sacral chakra and actually tiger's eye. So tiger's eye is going to increase your focus and clear your mental blocks. Amber promotes romantic and sensual energy. It also stimulates your natural healing abilities. Remember immune immunodeficiency, uh, immuno, immune system issues. Um, citrine is all around great. It's going to provide you clarity, creativity, stamina. Citrine is also a really easy, nice abundance stone as well. So it's going to get that flow of how do I create more money? How do I create more all this in my life? And the orange carnelian, it boosts, it's going to boost your confidence, creativity, and passion. And it's going to help you overcome fear. <sighs> okay. One, a couple last things. Usually when we're having sacral chakra issues, we don't give ourselves enough time to just feel. We're all up here in our head. And, and especially as women, but both, it doesn't matter what your gender is. You're told all the time that emotions are just not worth the time, right? And it's, it's don't be an emotional person and don't be guided by your emotions. But that's the energy that's in motion within our being and outside of us and what we emit and what we continue to create. So be in tune with your emotions, get in tune with your emotional health. If someone has injured you, if someone has traumatized you, if someone is not respecting you, if someone is, is, is not supporting you in different ways, especially in your being, right? If you're being told that you don't look good or you don't this good or you don't that good, it's really, that's no, don't do that. Okay. Um, be should really sit down with your feelings, acknowledge your feelings, and then also don't be afraid to say to the another person, "This is how you're making me feel," and I don't. It's not. It's not good. It's not healthy. Um, stretching and being fluid and lots of movement, drinking lots of water, all these things can assist you with your sacral chakra. Okay, and allow yourself some playtime. Can you just do that? Go outside and play, play games. I don't just just play, laugh, have fun. All right, guys. Thanks so much for being here. Next time we're going to work on our solar plexus chakra. Don't forget to give us a like, a subscribe, a follow, a share, whatever the case may be on this platform. And never forget, please, please, please give permission to your purpose to provide for your purpose.